You need to look at the NASDAQ here. It intraday, it, it fell off its highs and now it's climbing back up. But at 64.56, it's just four points away from a new all time record close. The number to watch 64.60. Dividend paying stocks were very hot a couple of years ago, but then they were kind of in the doghouse as investors look for momentum plays, juicy, exciting names. But now that the dog days of summer are in the rearview mirror, are you hearing all of these dog references? My next guest says it's time to give your portfolio some puppy love by going, David Dietz, with dividend plays, right? Yeah, absolutely. So with pricey markets, we're looking for strategies that are a little bit more defensive, yet still have the opportunity to perform. And what stunned me that when we started researching this, the dogs of the Dow strategy, which is buying the top 10 high yielding stocks in the Dow, has outperformed since the turn of the century every single time segment, one year, three year, five year, 10 year. So Greater performance, less risk, more income. What's not to love? Okay. Which three names do you love? Yeah, Put them out there for investors. Absolutely. So we start with Chevron. We know Chevron has nothing intrinsically wrong with it. The whole energy group is down. You've got a near 4% dividend. You've got something that is uh, an integrated player, less risk, globally diversified. After that, I would go with General Electric. That stock has been really? the worst performer over the last 18 years, the worst performer this year. So the pressure is on. They've changed management. If they can't turn things around soon, you can have a company that's broken up. Um, and while you're waiting, collect a near 4% dividend. Rarely has the GE dividend been this high. GE dividend. Okay, now what about another name? Are you, you yeah. like Pfizer as well? We do. Healthcare has been in the doghouse too. It, politicians on both sides of the aisle, you know, batter them, talking about rising healthcare costs, changing the ACA and so forth. But Pfizer, that's the bluest of the blue chips in the healthcare industry. What's the dividend? It's close to 4%, nice. sixth highest on the Dow. Way better than the 10-year the yield at, what, 2.2%. Absolutely. We're pumping up against a trifecta, although the NASDAQ is not quite there yet. I was calling it a hat trick earlier, but we will see new closing records for the Dow and the S&P. Pretty stunning. The S&P is about to see its, I believe, 43rd since Election Day. The Dow with its 57th since Election Day. Uh, how can you not give the psychology of President Trump, the businessman in chief, some credit here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think what people have been focused about, well, where is the Trump agenda going? But the fact of the matter, he's kept new regulations from coming into place. He's kept new taxes from being added on. And I think that alone has given investors and people in the street a lot of confidence in terms of the economy. Okay, you're liking the dividend plays. We'll put them up on Facebook.com slash Liz Clayman. Good to see you, David. Thank you so much, Liz. David Dietz. And by the way, here we go with just a few seconds before the closing bell begins to ring. Remember, it starts 15 seconds before the top of the hour. We have a record for the S&P 500, another record for the Dow. We're going to have to wait to see the settlement for the NASDAQ, but we need to see it at the level of 6460.